Nuclear power plants, long avoided, are now being reconsidered. Policymakers now see nuclear energy as a substitute for the most expensive gas that nations have ever had to import, as well as a zero-emission electricity source that would help maintain climate ambitions and targets. As a result, support for nuclear energy has increased recently. Are they reliable and safe enough to resume construction? Well, let's see. Following the Fukushima disaster in Japan in 2011, the worst nuclear accident since Chernobyl in 1986, governments began to lose confidence in nuclear power, which led to a decline in investment. But now that energy supplies are under pressure due to Moscow's invasion of Ukraine in February, the push by Europe to wean itself off of Russian oil and gas, and the subsequent squeeze on nuclear power, the tide is shifting back in favor of nuclear power. Governments must make difficult choices this winter as rising gas and electricity prices and a lack of resources threaten to result in widespread suffering. As the cost of importing energy rises around the world and climate crisis wreaks havoc, Nations are scrambling to find alternative sources, including nuclear power. Nuclear power is experiencing a resurgence now. The first benefit is that it is an emissions-free energy source that can help the switch to cleaner power generation methods, such as wind and solar energy. However, while these renewable energy sources can only predict electricity when the wind blows or the sun shines, nuclear energy and other fuels such as clean hydrogen can offer dependable backup power to get around these intermittent problems. The appeal of nuclear power as a clean fuel source is growing as a result of international policy commitments and climate targets. The US, Japan, and the UK, among other nations, have all reaffirmed their support for nuclear energy. Second, as a result of the disruption to the world energy markets brought on by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, many nations are aiming for greater energy independence. A reliable energy source independent of imported fossil fuels is nuclear energy. Thirdly, modern technology is being developed to help create smaller reactors that are safer, more affordable to operate, and simpler to construct. Japan, one of the nations re-evaluating nuclear energy, suspended many nuclear reactors due to safety concerns following that accident in 2011. Japan's Prime Minister, Fumo Kishida, pushed for a, called for a push to revive the nation's nuclear power industry and construct new atomic plants. In light of the gas crisis, Germany is debating whether to end nuclear power generation at the end of 2022 as planned. Germany has shut down three nuclear power plants that need to be shut down by the end of the year as part of a plan to stop using nuclear energy in the wake of the Fukushima disaster. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz hinted at the possibility of maintaining that nuclear power plant's operations at the beginning of August. The coalition government's coalition parties, including the Greens, vehemently oppose extending nuclear power generation past 2022. So such a move might be challenging. The IEA claims that nuclear power is ideally positioned to assist in decarbonizing the electricity supply. According to the agency, it'll be much more difficult to achieve net zero by 2050 without nuclear power. Additionally, according to the IEA, Extending nuclear plants' lifetimes is an indispensable part of a cost-effective path to net zero by 2050. Although such extensions require significant investment, they typically result in electricity costs that are comparable to those of wind and solar in most regions. In addition, support for small modular reactors, which have lower costs and risks than conventional nuclear power plants, is growing, according to the IEA. To ensure the safe and long-term operations of nuclear plants, and to mobilize the necessary investments, including those in new technologies, the agency noted that governments will still need to provide strong policy and incentive for nuclear power to ensure the safe and sustainable operation of nuclear plants, and to mobilize the required investments, including those in new technologies. Is nuclear power safe? Old conventional nuclear power plants have seen several significant disasters. And after decades of using nuclear energy, the issue of what to do with all those used radioactive nuclear fuel rods has arisen. But since these events, nuclear power technology has improved. Small modular reactors, a new type, are under development. In comparison to conventional large-scale reactors, they're less dangerous and vulnerable to calamities like earthquakes and meltdowns. They don't release greenhouse gases, as do all nuclear power plants helping the world's efforts to achieve net zero emissions. Unlike conventional devices, SMRs can be switched on and off safely. In comparison to traditional large-scale reactors, they not only cost less to build, but they take less time, and they also produce less toxic waste. Even smaller than small modular reactors, micro-reactors can actually generate about 30 times as much electricity. Different SMR systems are being developed with the help of both public and private investment. In a Wyoming town with a long history of coal mining, Bill Gates' TerraPower is putting its first small nuclear reactor. The Idaho National Laboratory is working on a variety of next-generation reactors with the help of another company, NuScale, which developed the first commercial small modular reactor design to receive official U.S. approval. Small modular reactors require less fuel than older reactors. For example, they typically only need to be refueled every three to seven years. Some SMRs are even built that last up to 30 years without requiring refueling. What is required to increase the use of nuclear power? 
The developing SMR sector might be crucial in expanding the world's nuclear capacity. Traditional nuclear reactors require decades of operation to take back the high capital costs required to build them. It takes years to bring them online. On the other hand, small modular reactors can be prefabricated, which simplifies and accelerates manufacturing, shipping, and installation. SMR modules can be added to the site if the nuclear plant needs to increase its generating capacity. In addition to technological developments, policy choices are at the core of efforts to expand nuclear power, along with incentives in the form of subsidies or government support for new nuclear deployments. Developing a framework that encourages investment and development of nuclear projects, uh, it's, it's crucial. How can the use of nuclear energy combat climate change? The method of energy production doesn't produce any CO2 emissions, which slows global warming. Small modular reactors can be combined with renewable energy sources like wind or solar in a hybrid system to overcome intermittent problems, and nuclear output can be adjusted to meet varying levels of energy demand. Although SMR technology is still being developed, nuclear power has a brighter future than ever as a transition fuel that increases a nation's energy independence, nuclear waste. Nuclear power plant toxic waste can remain radioactive for up to 300,000 years, which raises the question of how to safely and securely store it indefinitely. According to the Financial Times, there are 14 countries with a total of about 250,000 tons of spent fuel rods that are primarily kept in cooling pools at closed nuclear facilities. Some waste, such as uranium and plutonium, can be recycled to create new nuclear fuel. However, the process generates more waste, and this type of fuel can only be used once. There are several suggested disposal options for radioactive nuclear waste, such as burying it far beneath the seabed or pew, launching it into space. The best option is to bury waste hundreds of meters below granite, rock salt, the clay formations in the ground that haven't changed over millions of years. While no nation has succeeded in doing this to date, Finland is developing a deep burial site that'll start operating in 2023. Divided opinions. Some experts contend that nuclear power shouldn't be a viable option, while others contend that, given the prevalence of crises, it must continue to be a component of global energy. With the increase in demand for electricity, several nations have expressed a desire to build nuclear infrastructure, including China, which already has the most reactors, and the Czech Republic, India, Poland, because nuclear energy provides an alternative to coal. Similar goals are shared by the United Kingdom, France, and the Netherlands, as well as the United States, where President Joe Biden's investment plan promotes the growth of the sector. Due to the risk of catastrophic accidents and the ongoing debate over how to safely dispose of radioactive waste, the IPCC experts acknowledge that the use of nuclear energy can be constrained by societal preferences. Nuclear power is opposed by some nations, including New Zealand. And the European Union has engaged in a contentious debate over whether it should be considered a green energy. The controversial proposal to label investments in gas and nuclear power as sustainable finance was approved by the European Parliament last month. There are still other concerns regarding nuclear infrastructures such as the ability to construct new reactors with tightly controlled costs and delays. Climate reasoning. The ability of outdated nuclear power plants to operate for longer periods might be threatened as heat waves and other extreme events become more frequent. As an illustration, EDF issued a warning earlier this summer that nuclear power generation in France would decrease as a result of the high temperatures of the river Rhone and Garonne, which make them too hot to cool reactors. In France, where nuclear power generation accounts for about 70% of the electricity mix, in Florida, the U.S., the Nuclear Regulatory Commission revoked Florida Power and Light's 2019 license to extend the life of two 50-year-old reactors another 30 years. In February of this year, and ordered a new environmental review that would take into account potential risks posed by climate change. 